Hey everybody, Steve here. Oh my god, am I really that ugly? So I had a lot of difficulty deciding what I was going to do as far as the presentation goes this time. Ultimately, I decided on one of those uh, YouTube style videos that keep stopping and starting over and over and over again. Now my reason for doing it like this is because uh, last class I chose to read my entire essay in length and even though I thought it was quite fantastic mind you most of you ended up very much like or my absolute favorite not to say that doing a video like this is going to change any of that so I had to make a choice on the uh, books I want to do my paper on, like most of you did. Hmm. So we had our first choices, which uh, were money and inequality, which I thought, oh, I know a lot about money, as proof by my empty wallet. The other option was sports. I mean, I'm totally into sports. Anyone want to play magic with me? Better yet, we could watch Star Wars. Bow, 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 bow. On second thought, sports might not be the best option for someone like me. And the last option, a uh, paper about college. College? Do I know anything about college? Pretty sure I'm a student at a college, now I think about it. In case you hadn't figured it out, I'm going with the college options. Are Too Many People Going to College by Charles Murray? Yes! And The New Liberal Arts by Sanford J. Ungar. A president of a college writing about how good colleges currently are. That's refreshing. My thesis statement? Pretty simple. Yes! I'm kidding. College seems to have become irrelevant, due in part to the changing demands of the job market, the lack of significance a degree has in today's society, and the long-term costs involved. Now, if anyone after the presentation asks me, Hey, Steve, uh, what was uh, your thesis statement? I will come up there and smack you. I'm kidding. I will literally come up there and smack you. So let's break down my essay, shall we? Murray is right. Most jobs are looking for technical degrees or certifications nowadays. I have what would be considered a middle-class job. I'm a phlebotomist for a hospital. Didn't get my degree for it. I did, however, do a six-month technical school. And if I did not have that certification, I would not have a job at the hospital right now. Murray 1, Ungar 0. Most jobs don't even require that broad a study. Let's use my job again for just an example. A phlebotomist, in case you didn't know, sticks people with pretty large needles. It's medically necessary. Promise. What we need to know to do the job is taught through about six months of a technical school. Or even the Red Cross does a four-week program. Provided we have the medical knowledge, which is taught in one of these programs, we are set to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a few other skills required, such as mathematics. Room 24. Oh, there it is. Let's not forget English. Good morning, my name is Steve, and I'm here to stick you with a very large needle. And let's not forget art. Which one is the green tube again? Now, Ungar believes in a liberal arts education. We're talking broad spectrum. And why shouldn't he? He himself said, 
Further, in recent years, delegations from China have been visiting the United States and asking pointed questions about the liberal arts, seemingly because they feel there may be good reason to try that approach to education. Bullcrap. It is known worldwide the United States education system leaves more to be desired. It's a stereotype, people. The English have bad dental hygiene. Stereotype. French women don't shave their armpits. Stereotype. America's educational system is about four years behind. Stereotype. Stereotypes, unfortunately, come from some truths. I mean, I'm in a bit of an exception. Beautiful teeth. So maybe the United States stereotype about poor education is not true. Let's take a look at the world rankings for education, shall we? In reading, coming in 33, the United States. In mathematics, coming in place 27, the United States. And in the sciences, coming in 22nd place, the United States. We are beaten in just about every single school by Denmark. Denmark, people. I didn't even know Luxembourg was a country. But they beat us. Oh boy, Mexico's got us beat. Republicans are going to hate that. Murray 2, Unga 0. Last but not least, let's take a look at some of the money aspects. Government doesn't want to pay for anything anymore. Given they really don't have any money to give to colleges anymore. Which means colleges charge a lot more. Which means families need to pay more. Or you can always take out a student loan. I mean, we only pay that until we're like, what, 40? Maybe 50? By which point I'll have my own child in college. By which point I'm paying for college again. Excellent. There's a reason I'm doing nursing school. A liberal arts degree? Ain't gonna cut it when it comes to paying off my student loans. And I'm going to pay for nursing school with my technical certification I got beforehand. And in the meanwhile, pray that nursing jobs still exist by the time I'm out of college. Pretty sure I can say no to a liberal arts education. So let's sum up, shall we? The job market is looking for more specific education now. College in America is not really seen as significant anymore. And it's too damned expensive. Alright, well that about sums up my slightly less boring presentation. If any of y'all have questions, now would be the time to ask. But if anyone asks what my thesis statement is, so help me God I will smack you. Awesome guitar solo time.